another edition of Fast Pitch TV. Today we're going to show you some fielding practice gloves for teaching kids how to use both hands when catching the ball. Hi, Gary Leland, your host here, Fast Pitch TV. And today we're showing you some fielding gloves for teaching kids how to use both hands when catching the ball. First one we're going to go over is the soft hands. Now the soft hands, the way it's set up, it has a thumb on both sides. So actually, you can use this if you're left-handed or if you're right-handed, okay? So this is pretty good for that. It's uh, out of what I'm going to show you, it's the least expensive. But what you do with this is when kids throw the ball back and forth. On my team, we had our kids in two rows, and we throw the balls as we did our practice. And when a ball comes, since the kid can't close the glove, they have got to catch a glove by putting their hand on top. You know, that's one thing a lot of young players have a problem with. Have you ever seen a kid in the outfield and they go to catch the ball and it goes bloop, bloop. Matter of fact, I think I saw it in the Olympics. A kid from Venezuela did it. Okay, so at any age, they need to learn how to catch the ball and put their hand on top of it. And by using this, they learn how to catch the ball with their hand so it won't pop out their glove, okay? So this is probably the least expensive of them. This is the soft hands. They hold up pretty good. Um, next one I'm gonna show you, and like I said, that's for left or right-handed kids. The next one I'm gonna show you, this particular one is made by Mizuno, but it's called a pancake glove. Same principle, you can't really squeeze it. Several companies make these, but it's the same thing, except it's a little bit better quality, but it's a little bit better price. But you know, with a glove like this, you could actually use this on your team for a few years, and you probably could sell this for half to three quarters of what you paid for it. So it's not like it's thrown away because you're not going to be using it every day like a regular glove. So it's not going to give that much punishment, okay? Same thing goes though. You've got to catch the glove ball with your hand on top, okay? That's the second one. That's the pancake glove. Now both of these you can find at softballjunk.com. Now with my team, let me take out my glove. Now this is the glove I got when I was in the third grade, okay? So that, let's see, I was eight. So that's 45 years ago. My gloves held up pretty good. It's an old Ted Williams model. Now what we did on our team with the kids is we would do the same thing, but instead of using these, I'm going to teach you a cheaper way to do it. We would just take our gloves and we would hold them the back of the gloves. And the kids would, the ball would hit the back of their gloves and they'd have to catch it, okay? So that's how we did it on our team. They'd throw the ball, the ball come back, they'd catch it on the back of the gloves. So this way they always had a training glove. It was just part of their warm-up routine was to do drills, catching the ball right here on the back of the glove. Okay, so that's even a less expensive way to do it. For practicing fielding on a budget, there you go. Thank you for joining us for today's show. And uh, like I said, if you need a pancake glove or the soft hands, check out softballjunk.com. Thanks for watching.